hey, so I have a layover in Singapore's Changi Airport for about the next eight hours or so, but I thought I'd show you around because this is actually one of the coolest airports to get trapped in for that amount of time. One of the cool things you can actually do here is to leave the airport. They run tours regularly, so you can go check out the city. Uh, but unfortunately, you need a minimum of eight hours to go do that. And I'm just in the cusp. I'm actually at about seven hours, 50 minutes um, until departure. So can't do that this time. So instead, my challenge is to survive the next eight hours without leaving the airport. But luckily, this is one of the coolest airports to be trapped in. I'll show you why. Okay, so we're currently in Terminal 3, which is one of the biggest terminals. That and Terminal 1 has all the cool stuff, and they're all connected via these sky trains. Or you can just walk around. This is just Terminal 3, and the cool things we have here are all of these gardens placed around. So over here, this is a butterfly garden. It's a two-level butterfly garden. We've got koi ponds. Up here, we have a free movie theater. You can just walk in and watch whatever they're playing. If you're gonna be trapped in an airport, this is the one you wanna be trapped in. Now, unfortunately, as you can probably tell, it is pouring rain here. The, uh, the roof is not sealed to the elements so that the butterflies can have the more natural whatever's happening in Singapore weather. It's a really nice little rainforest thing they've got going here. A really lovely place to chill out for a bit. Okay, so now I'm soaked. <laughs> So I thought I'd go check out Terminal 1 and see what I can find. And yeah, you can walk there, but you could also take the SkyTrain. We've got these whirly pool things here. We've got more fish as well. Plus this, like, fish aquarium where they can look out at us. Tell me, do you enjoy your life here? I don't know, man, we're just fish. Mm-hmm, that's what I thought. So as always, you have the lounges, which are nice places to relax in, but they do cost cash, unless you're in the business or first class uh, tickets, which I am not, so I'm not gonna do that. There must be a map of Terminal 1 around here somewhere, I'm sure. Aha, a map. There's something called the Discovery Garden, right there. That's where we just were, I believe. What else have we got? That might be the most of it, the rest might just be shops. So let's go have a look at this discovery garden we got here. I'm not quite sure what I'm meant to be discovering here, but these horses are kind of cool. So the Discovery Garden was kind of cool. It was open to the air though, and it is still raining, so I am, once again, somewhat damp. Let's see if I can find something inside now. <laughs> okay, so I've explored the two main terminals a little bit, seen some nice gardens. Let's see how much time I have left. <laughs> okay then, let's go find some food. Terminal 1 does have some decent food options, but Terminal 3 is where the real good food's at. If you ever wonder about the easiest way to kill time in an airport like this, it's basically just to go from one end to the other, over and over again, seeing what you can find. Preferably while making a silly video about the whole thing. And this guy called Sam is apparently a vacuum cleaner. Because we're living in the future. It's kind of amazing how much more dystopian Singapore looks when it's dark and rainy. Okay, so there seem to be self-ordering kiosks that sort of apply to all the restaurants simultaneously on the food street. So let's see if we touch to continue. No, you do not work.
Okay, let's see what we get. 31? Okay, so it seems pretty good. Got the fried rice with some kind of pork and some fries. These are made of meat. I am stuffed. <laughs> Let's see how much time is left now. Okay then. Let's do this. Now there's something special that I've been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> Get it? Because it's raining and... Okay. Welcome to the theater. Now we've done the exploring and the food and the films. So now I think it's time to just find somewhere and chill out for a bit. Maybe read a book. Steampunk penguin, steampunk penguin, ready to fly a plane. Have you ever wondered what a koi is thinking? Let's ask them. My plans for global domination are nearly complete, and nobody even knows to suspect me, cause I'm a fish. I should not have asked that. I should not have asked that. And off to the departures gate at last. Nearly there. Even though Singapore Airport is one of the better airports to be stuck in for eight hours, it is still a long time to be in an airport. I'm getting tired. I do believe that's our plane at the end of that plank. And we're into the gate. Nearly there.